Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found a YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the truth about how long a goldfish's memory actually is. Let's get started. The memory of a goldfish. Contrary to popular belief, goldfish have very good memories for fish. They can be trained to respond various ways to certain colors of light, different kinds of music, and other sensory cues. Researchers have successfully taught goldfish to play fetch, push levers, do the limbo, and even play a form of soccer. Not only that, but they seem able to remember things that they are taught as much as a year later. Further, if they are fed around the same time of day, they also remember that and will anticipate the feeding leading up to that time, which implies they have a very good innate sense of time. Goldfish also have been shown to be able to recognize their masters and even pick their favorites, usually the one who feeds them. Around certain people the goldfish is very familiar with, they will often be much more active when they see the person and even sometimes stop considering the person any sort of threat, including if that person sticks their hand in the water and tries to touch them. Around strangers, on the other hand, the goldfish will often hide. Blind goldfish also exhibit the same type of behavior, except they respond to the voice of their owner. In one experiment, researchers were even able to get the goldfish to learn that if they pressed a certain lever at a certain time of day, for a span of about an hour, they would get food for this action. If the lever was pushed at any other time of day, nothing would happen. In very short order, these goldfish learned to only bother pushing the lever during the time of day it would produce food. The rest of the time, they ignored it. In another experiment, researchers trained young goldfish to associate a sound with feeding time. They then released these fish into a large lake. About half a year later, when the fish were fully grown, the researchers broadcast the sound over a loudspeaker, and the fish swam from wherever they were in the lake back to where they were released. This has been proposed as a method to cut down the cost of raising fish for consumption. Teach them to come when they are young, and then release them into the ocean and lakes to grow to adulthood naturally. Better for the environment, relatively less cruel to the fish, and cuts down on the cost of raising them. Researchers have also recently taught carp, of which goldfish are a type, to distinguish between classical music and blues music, as well as to be able to distinguish between whether a particular song is being played forwards or backwards. Needless to say, confining a goldfish to a small bowl with no real mental stimulation, as many do, isn't recommended. Experts recommend that you regularly change their fish tank around and make it as intricate and as complicated an environment as possible with lots of things for the fish to interact with. Doing this has been shown to make the goldfish much more active and extends their average lifespan significantly. Bonus fact. Goldfish were first domesticated by the Chinese well over a thousand years ago. The first record of some of the domesticated grey and silver carp producing orange and yellow offspring was recorded before that during the Jin dynasty in 265 to 420. During the Tang dynasty 618 to 907, it became popular to breed the gold and yellow varieties instead of the silver for placing in water gardens. Because yellow was an imperial color in 1162, it became forbidden for anyone outside of the imperial family to keep yellow goldfish, which is thought to be why the orange goldfish variety is more common today, even though the yellow variety is easier to breed. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.